Hi everyone, you're watching Brain Buzz, the channel where we take big science concepts and we break them down to different techniques and learn science as creative, innovative and as simple as possible. We've done this through different techniques like flowchart technique, we have done mnemonics and we have also learned how to make doodle notes. If you haven't watched them already, the link for these videos will be there in the description. Moving on, in this video we are going to be learning another brand new technique. You are probably familiar with it. It is called concept map. So the concept map for a lesson is basically taking all of the important components of a lesson all the main keywords, definitions of a lesson and bringing them together in a platform. So as I'm saying this, it might look very big. We're basically taking the entire lesson and fitting them into one um, platform, right? No, we're actually going to take the most important ones and we're going to take only the keywords and then we're going to connect them together based on our lesson. So we'll learn how to do that using cells as an example in this video. Let's go do it. We're going to learn how we make concept maps using an example from the chapter cell. If we take cells as the topic, we'll explore two different categories in the topic. First one is types. And the other is components. Now we'll look at types first. Broadly classifying cells, we have two different types. The first one is the more basic prokaryotic cell. The second one is the eukaryotic cell. We know that there are two types of cells in eukaryotic. Right? So we have plants and animal cells. Very, very broad classification. Okay? We'll leave this here and we'll move on to the components of the cell. What does the cell have? A cell might have a cell wall, mostly found in plant cells. It will have a cell membrane. If it is a prokaryotic cell, it will be a nucleoid or if it is a eukaryotic cell, it will have nucleus. It will also have cytoplasm, which is the jelly in which everything else of the cell is present. Everything else, basically cell organelles, which are present within the cytoplasm. Okay, so we have broad components of the cell. So mapping them, cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm and cell organelles. Now we'll go deeper. What are the different kinds of cell organelles? Just name random order. Okay, main cell organelles. First one is endoplasmic reticulum okay and you know that it has two different types we have rough and we have smooth okay we leave that aside for now and we'll move on with the other cell organelles we have golgi apparatus which is in charge of packaging cell products okay then the next one that we have is the lysosomes which are digestive packets within our cell okay and then we have mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell okay then let us look at centrioles okay and we'll name a few more we have plastids plastids are a set of organelles and there are different types of it if you know them, you can add them to the concept map or you can skip this part. Three types of plastids are chromoplast, chloroplast, which you might have heard before, 
and we have got leukocytes. Should be kept in mind that plastids are only found in plant cells. So there's a P. Okay, there is one more cell organelle, vacuoles. Okay, and that completes our list of cell organelles. Now we're going to map them. First, the types of cell organelles and then the subtypes of cell organelles. If you want a more detailed explanation on the organelles in the cell, the link to that video is in the description. We've done mapping the types. Now we will map the subtypes. And once we're done with this, we completed the components of the cell. This is a look at the entire concept map that we just made and that's all for this video. I'm hoping it was clear so far what we did was we took terms, we mapped them together and this is a technique for concept map. You can apply this technique for almost any concept, any lesson and any subject. So my request for all of the viewers is to go and explore this technique with as many lessons as you can. Trust me, it's very helpful when you have to revise just before an exam. If you liked what we did in this video and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to Brain Bulb. Also, if you think this video might be useful to someone else, make sure you share it. And if you want me to make another video just like this one for any other concept and use any other technique other than concept map, make sure you put it down in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope we'll bring more to you.